In our series, Carolina Has Heart, we recognize people doing good and giving back in our community. You know, and since February is American Heart Month, we are recognizing a very special woman who continues to help those in our community with heart health. Of course, Sarah French here with more on that. I love this story so much. This woman is amazing. So I met Claire Blocker last year and immediately thought of her for this month's Carolina Has Heart. She started her own foundation called Heart Bright, and she truly is an inspiration to everyone she meets. In October 2002, Claire Blocker began her journey to start her foundation Heartbright. But a lot happened before that. At the age of 47, she had a stroke. And then when I was 51, I had a heart attack. I had no clue that it was even in my family. Nobody else had ever presented with heart disease. So I ended up having a quadruple bypass. Claire had eight major blockages. It was just a matter of you have to will yourself to want to live and to fight. Claire's husband, Tom, was with her every step of the way. It's been quite a journey. The first preventive cardiologist she had said, you know, if you really want to help, you need to get involved with the underserved community. And I came back and I said to Tom, I said, I want to start a foundation. He said, to do what? And I'm like, I don't know, I just want to help people. 54 women started in the first Heartbright program. Now they are currently managing 1,800 patients. Now, the, the folks we deal with are, are underinsured. 90% are below the, the national poverty level. So we're up to 33 doctors now that, right. that volunteer their time. So there's a free clinic there almost every day of the week. Their main focus is educating the community and their patients on heart disease and how they can live a healthy lifestyle. Talk to me about why that is so important to you to have that educational aspect at Heartbreak. Because when a, when a patient comes in and they see a physician in any environment, when the patient leaves, it's up to the patient to operate their body. 80% of what we do is really education. T just 20% is really with the doctor and setting up the algorithm. 4,300 patients are actively coming into the Heartbright Clinic for their educational programs. We make them understand that we are a wellness clinic and that we will help them, but they have to be part of the solution. When I hear people's stories back to me about the impact it's had on their life, it makes me get up another day. So, of course, for more information on Heartbright or if you want to nominate our next person for Carolina Has Heart, you can go to our website, wcnc.com. But it's amazing what they were doing. And I actually emceed an event for them mm -hmm. last year. And one of the patients that was recognized, he said he did not pay a penny. So what they're doing for these people that qualify, mm -hmm. it, it's amazing. Amazing that's amazing. Work. That's what it, that's what it should be like. You know, right, you shouldn't have right. to pay for that so medical attention. So great people doing great work, and of course, we put um, a link to Heartbright's website on ours as well. Yeah, Sarah, it's good for people you. to know about. Yeah, Sarah, thank you. Good.